Well, this came out of a podcast we did a while ago at the British Journal of Psychiatry and the Mental Health Foundation, and we were looking at the issue of female representation in an academic setting. What was really interesting, unlike all the other podcasts, normally we have to hound people to attend. We couldn't stop people trying to volunteer to be part of it. And it started off real energy. We said, what are we doing for women who use services? And also, what about women who are working in services and developing their careers? And the energy of the podcast has led to today. Well, one of the things is that I wanted to get across to uh, more than just within Oxley's how important the service model is for the women's service, which Oxley's developed to 20 years ago, nearly 20 years ago. And I think Oxley's are the only trust in the entire country that evolved this model. Uh, we found that we were flooded with referrals for psychotherapy for sexually abused women within mental health services, and we have been ever since. And we've developed a model that is inclusive, that has different treatment strategies. There's no one size all. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, tailored to the patient herself who leads the the recovery. Um, it's geared to empowering women, which links into the narratives of this conference today. Um, the, the many discourses in this conference contain the need to uh, evolve empowered women's service which empower women in their place of work and within their relationship to, to take charge of their future. My highlight, I have to say, is Dr Geraldine Strafty. Um, hearing her personal story really inspired me and I think the words she used along the lines of um, you know, what, what, what are your values, what do you care about, what influences you as a woman and as a leader um, and how that influences you in the workplace. It's been an absolutely fantastic, inspiring morning. Uh, the reason I, it's been so great is because it has a critical mass of women, leaders, interested in mental health, very, very interested in the care of their patients who've come together to find solutions, to share knowledge, to get the word out there, but above all to find practical solutions so that we can get better services for people. I think we all work in isolation, but we're dealing with a great big population who have very many problems that are the same. And mental health workers have those problems too, have those issues to face. It's very important that we talk with each other, that we uh, support each other, we arrive at best practice, and we think through concerns about mental health in the light of what's happening in society. I think the Women's Service begins with um, some of the most uh, difficult painful uh, experience of women who've survived the, the most terrible atrocities, um, which links in a spectrum towards uh, women who are struggling with issues of equality in the workplace and within relationships. So I, I thought there were, there were several discourses going to be evolving within the conference and that we within the women's service have quite a lot to say about what, how those how the nature of that kind of suffering evolves in the clinical space between the therapist and the patient couple. Well, I think it's great to see all these women gathered and to hear Geraldine talk about the shift in awareness and uh, the feeling that there's uh, a lot more uh, consciousness now of the impact of women's mental health. I mean, I'm here from Ireland and so it's kind of nice to see people who've moved from the very particularly different political circumstances of Ireland and have come here, started practicing and honing in on, you know, what is important to them, what their values are. It's been people saying, this is a problem, we know it's an issue and we're not addressing it. And it's been fantastic. The day has been so full of energy. What's been fascinating to me is we have a 220 seat room and we've had to turn people away. There are so many people who want to know about this, about the care we provide and the opportunities for our staff.